Hey everyone, I am the Cookout Coach, back again with Char Griller for another Barbecue 101 video. Today we're going to be doing something that is quick, feeds a bunch of people, and that is we're going to turn a one and a half pound sockeye salmon filet into a hot honey and lime glazed delicious meal for the whole crew. So let's get into it. So today's recipe is gonna be super simple. We've got about a pound and a half sockeye salmon filet here. If you notice, I've got it on a big piece of foil, basically just for easy cleanup to keep everything nice and clean, I'm going to basically foil both this piece of salmon. This will catch all of our glaze later in the cook. Keep it off our grill. But all we're gonna do with this is take your favorite season all and just give it a generous coat. It's gonna be a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, some other herbs and pepper. Now at the same time, we're gonna take two ripe limes and just give them nice slices. Now we're just gonna go ahead and start taking these slices, just arranging them along the salmon. The acidity from the lime is gonna give us a really good pairing with the sweet from the honey and the heat from the cayenne. And there we go. Now we just need our cooker to heat up to 300 degrees. Our grill of choice today is going to be the Char Griller Smoke and Pro, where we're going to be using that side firebox to really get some good smoke on this salmon. We're going to go ahead and dump in a half a lit chimney of charcoal and a couple of pieces of cherry wood just to get us some smoke going as we heat up. And then it's as simple as getting that boat of salmon on for a nice little smoke bath. This cook will be quick, so we want to get it to absorb some of that early smoke. So we've hit 140 in the thickest part of this filet, and you can see how much it's shrunk up, and that's just how it goes. So we're just going to take our hot honey garlic lime butter glaze, and we're just going to go over the top. And for the last four or five degrees, just going to let it cook on. After five minutes of glazing, this is what we've got. Nothing left to do but get it on the board and start feeding people. So there it is. Super simple, super quick, feeds a bunch of people, has that great smokiness you come to expect from being outside cooking over coals. The sweetness from the glaze mixed with the acidity and a little bit of heat just really sets it off. Hey, give this one a shot, and we'll see you in the next one. 